Welcome to Tech Brother with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to redirect or filter the rows with the blank values. So first of all, let's create a source file or input file with some blank values. And then we will be using the data flow task and uh, uh, filter them. Uh, let's uh, create a text file. So in this one, let's name it source file. Okay, and now we want to create this file with some columns. So I have file, uh, first name, last name, and uh, for test purpose, let's uh, keep it small. So we have first name, let's say Amir, last name Shehzad, and uh, then we have no first name, and then we have uh, last name Rivers, and let's say we have some spaces or blank spaces, and then we have uh, another name called uh, Raza. And now we have another record, say John Smith. Okay, so we have these records, uh, four five rec uh, four records. In this case, uh, we we have one blank here, um, and here we have multiple blanks, and we are not we don't have value for the first name. So let's uh, save this file and uh, go ahead and uh, create SSIS package, and uh, we want to redirect uh, any record that doesn't have or, or that has blank value in the first name so open your uh, sql server data tools or bids according to the version of uh, ssis you're using so create a new ssis package to read this uh, file we will be using data flow that's where we read the uh, data from different sources and inside the data source we have <coughs> excuse me we have different sources available as this is a flat file or text file we will be using flat file source um, so open it and create a new connection for the file so we browse to the file my file is at uh, desktop so i'm going and getting making a connection there source file now i am leaving everything as it is uh, my file is a comma delimited file and um, I have the column names in the first row, so I'm leaving that, that one as uh, default. So let's go to the columns and see. So here in the first name, we can see that even with the one blank or no blank, the, the record is read with the blank values. And even we put three blank values in the first name, that's also read as a blank here. So go to advanced, we can see the data type for first name. It's a string uh, and um, the width is 50. The same goes for uh, data type for last name. That's also there. So we can preview some data. Okay, so we see that the data is coming as a blank. Now let's click on the columns and see the mapping. If you need to remove some columns and you don't want them, you can always remove here. But in my case, we want all of them. So now we have read the data and uh, in uh, by using the flat file source we want to filter or we want to ignore the data that has blank in the first name so what we need to use here we need to use the conditional split conditional split is going to create multiple outputs for us depending on the conditions that we have defined inside so here um, what we want to do we want to use the column first name and then uh, what we want to do, we want to put, write an expression to ignore or create a new output uh, if the value is blank. So let's go to string values and see what we have here. Um, okay, so we don't have anything uh, you know that is a blank or a, a, any any related function, but uh, we can always go ahead and compare it here. So we say first name if first name is equal to equal to blank okay so what's going to happen now we are saying blank values rows okay uh, and this one is uh, you know uh, by default name for the uh, other records which are not blank so we can uh, you know, leave that one as it is or we can uh, you know uh, re rename this one as well so we can say correct records you know or anything you like so it is going to create two outputs for us. So one will be blank uh, rows output and one will be correct uh, records output. So let's hit OK. So let's bring multicast here. 
two multicast actually so we can visualize data so connect the condition split split output to the multicast blank rows goes on the left this one goes on the right doesn't matter you can choose what you like first you know now let's put the, the data viewer to visualize our data and add that one here add that one so what I want to show you the first thing by using this expression what exactly happened and what went wrong so we, we are gonna check that and then we are gonna correct that so let's uh, start debugging okay so we see that what is happening here blank rows uh, data viewer it is it redirected only one row the, where we had only one blank or no value was provided but if we look at the other data viewer here what is happening here correct records it is also redirecting to the correct rows output as there are multiple blank values uh, we have added in the first name so the comparison is not correct even these are multiple uh, blank values they should be re redirected to the blank rows so what went wrong let's go back and we have to do trim so if we have more than one blank values so we need to trim it so we, we can do a correct comparison how we can trim it so we have uh, uh, different functions available here we have string functions we have uh, in uh, SQL we have trim that's going to trim a left and a right but here we have L trim and R trim so we have to apply both of them separately so we have L trim and R trim so let's apply R trim first and then we can apply L trim so by using these two functions we are trimming the blank spaces In the first name so we trimmed left trim and uh, right trim the first name and then we are comparing with the blank so th then what's going to happen now even you have more blank values is going to trim and compare correctly okay, so close it okay let's run it again and now we should have two values come into the blank and the rest should be going to the uh, multicast one that's correct values okay so now we can see that we have blank value blank rows data viewer at uh, uh, and we can see two values are or two rows are uh, redirected you know because they had the values of the first name was blank even in the, for the raza we knew that there were three blank values but we have trimmed it so it was doing the correct comparison now and all the values with the good uh, information or correct data they are redirected to the correct records data where okay so this this is it for uh, this demo and uh, we will be learning a lot more transformations and uh, how to use a uh, uh, for each loop and uh, you know the configuration and login and whatnot in different videos and you can always visit us at sqlage.blogspot.com for the blogs and uh, for sql server ssis rs and see you guys uh, next time